A caravel is a small, highly maneuverable sailing ship developed in the 15th century by the Portuguese to explore along the West African coast and into the Atlantic Ocean. The Latin sails gave her speed and the capacity for sailing to windward. Caravels were used by the Portuguese for the oceanic exploration voyages during the 15th and 16th centuries in the Age of Discovery. History Until the 15th century, Europeans were limited to coastal cabotage navigation using the barge or the balinger, ancient cargo vessels of the Mediterranean Sea of around 50 to 200 tons. These boats were fragile, with only one mast with a fixed square sails that could not overcome the navigational difficulties of southward oceanic exploration, as the strong winds, shoals and strong ocean currents easily overwhelmed their abilities. The caravel was developed in about 1451, based on existing fishing boats under the sponsorship of Henry the Navigator of Portugal, and soon became the preferred vessel for Portuguese explorers like Bartolomeu Dias, Vasco da Gama or Ferdinand Magellan. Its name may derive from an ancient boat type known as Carabas in Latin and I I plus or minus I I plus or minus I squared I I in Greek, later adopted into Arabic as QA rib, indicating some continuity of its carvel build through the ages. They were agile and easier to navigate, with a tonnage of 50 to 160 tons and 1 to 3 masts, with litin triangular sails allowing beating. Being smaller and having a shallow keel, the caravel could sail upriver in shallow coastal waters. With the latin sails attached, it was highly maneuverable and could sail much nearer the wind, while with the square Atlantic type sails attached, it was very fast. Its economy, speed, agility, and power made it esteemed as the best sailing vessel of its time. The limited capacity for cargo and crew were their main drawbacks, but did not hinder its success. The exploration done with caravels made the spice trade of the Portuguese and the Spanish possible. However, for the trade itself, the caravel was later replaced by the larger carrack, which was more profitable for trading. The caravel was one of the pinnacle ships in Iberian ship development from 1400 to Euro 1600. Design Due to its lighter weight and thus greater speed, the caravel was a boon to sailors. Early caravels generally carried two or three masts with latine sails, while later types had four masts. Early caravels such as the Caravela Tilhada of the 15th century had an average length of between 12 and 18 meters, an average capacity of 40 to 50 tons, a high length to beam ratio of around 3.5 to 1, a narrow ellipsoidal frame, making them very fast and maneuverable but with somewhat low capacity. Towards the end of the 15th century, the caravel was occasionally modified by giving it the same rig as a now with a foresail, square mainsail and latin mizzen, but not the carrack's high foc'sle or much of a stempelis, which would make it unweatherly. In this form it was sometimes known as caravela redinda. It was in such ships that Christopher Columbus set out on his expedition in 1492. Santa Mara A was a 100 ton now which served as the flagship and the Pinta and Nia plus or minus A were smaller caravels of around 15 a Euro 20 m with a beam of 6 m and displacing around 60 to 75 tons. In the transition to the 16th century, the Portuguese created a specialized fighting ship also called the Caravela Redinda or square rigged caravel to act as an escort in Brazil and in the Indies route. It had a foremast with square sails and three other masts with a latin each, for a total of four masts. The hull was galleon-shaped, and it is considered a forerunner of the fighting galleon. The Portuguese man o war was named after the appearance of the man of war, which were in use until the 17th century. See also, Iberian ship development, 1400 a Euro 1600, Notorious, a replica caravel in Australia. References External links 1. The History and Development of Caravels, A Thesis, George Robert Schwartz, B.A., University of Cincinnati, Chair of Advisory Committee, Dr. Luis Felipe Vieira de Castro, May 2008, Mr. da Marina, Mr. da Marina, Facsimiles, Instituto Karma Micronis. Caravela, Dutch im Cap des Schreckens der Axel Ingstfeld, Germany 2002. 52M. ZDF.